What's up, guys? Welcome to your Flex Friday, Alex Flex Fridays. I love getting dumbbells and going ham at the gym. Today, you got three movements. All right, you have the, in whatever order, you have the skull crushers, you have the Arnold presses, and you have the hammer curls. Let's start with hammer since you're there. Shoulders pinched back, tight stomach, elbows on the side. She controls. This workout is all about tempo, okay? The weight that you challenge yourself with, if you have to use your back like Chris and not like Alex, then you're doing too much. So make sure you get the appropriate weight. Alex, we have 12 reps. I prefer, instead of hopping to the next movement, stay there. Take a 30, 45 to one minute break, shake it off, and then jump in there and do the remainder of the three rounds. So you have four sets of 12 with hammer curls. Second movement is gonna be the Arnold press. Recommendation, I love for you guys to go ahead and have a seat. So the reason why I like having a seat when you're doing your Arnold press is because it eliminates you from using anything else besides your shoulders. Alex is flexing the quads, elbows are up, she roundhouses to her military position, she goes down the way she came, and then comes all the way up and tap those dumbbells. So up and around, Alex, you turn one time facing me. So biggest thing, if you notice with Alex, she's not leaning back and or arcing her back. She's doing a great job of keeping her stomach and quads nice and tight. But same thing, Alex, 12 reps, stay here, woosah, and then finish four sets of 12. The last and final one will be skull crushers, laying on her back again. Uh, elbows are in the same spot, which is the most important thing with the skull crush. She controls down without hitting her forehead and locking out up top. Four sets of 12 for some challenging weight. Go ahead and relax, Alex. Again, stay there. Don't jump from movement to movement is the recommendation. But for your strength segment, you'll have about 18 to 20 minutes to get everything done. So plenty of rest, plenty of time. Um, for the conditioning, the conditioning is, uh, how can I word the conditioning, Alex? It's, it is what it is. It is what it is. First movement <laughs> I want to talk about is the uh, dumbbell. I think I forgot. I did forget. I was about to say the wrong thing. Shoulder taps. So hand plank position. She's going to go opposite hand to opposite shoulder, doing a total of 10. Whenever she finishes her 10th rep, she'll grab some tough dumbbells. And the way you know this is tough, when you do your warm-up area, uh, you're able to do it, but it's not it's – not it's doable. Yeah, that's the best way. It's doable because it's only 10 feet. We're going to do bear crawls, okay? So notice Alex's knees are going to be about an inch away from the ground. And the weight should be so heavy she's only able to take maybe two to three inches going forward. Go ahead and relax, Alex. But she would do 10 reps, right? So 10 to the 10-foot line means one, two, three, until you get to a total of 10, all right? And then the next thing, I messed up. That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right, Alex. I was wrong. It was one, 10 feet. Dang, can I edit this? Be a pro. Three, two, one. What's up, guys? Welcome to your Flex Friday. Coach Alex in the building. We have, Alex, three movements, four sets of 12. Stay at that movement. Don't bounce around from each movement, right? Just stay there, shake it off, get some recovery time, and then finish all four reps. First movement, hammer curls. We've done these before. Shoulders pinch back, tight stomach. Keeping those elbows locked near your rib cage, and you're controlling up and down. So you can increase every round. Go ahead and do so. Uh, second movement, I would love for you to go ahead and have a seat on the ground. So Alex is going to face me. Quads are locked out. Shows a pinch back, tight stomach. As her dumbbells connect, she roundhouse it, gets to that lockout position and control. Out of all three movements, this one is the toughest movement. So make sure, guys, control, control, control. Last one, Alex is just laying on back. We're going to do skull crushers. Elbows are up. She controls the weight towards her ears or head, depending on how she wants to rock it. Keeping that elbow in the same spot so your triceps get all the work. Thank you, Alex. Each movement will be for 12 reps, four rounds each. 18 to 20 minutes, plenty of time to rest and everything else. Conditioning, all right? This one's, it is what it is, all right? First movement, Alex, we're gonna talk about is the shoulder taps, all right? So, hands directly under your shoulders. Uh, she taps her opposite shoulder with her opposite hand, getting a total of 10 reps. Nice and smooth, pretty easy, right, Alex? Next movement, you're gonna grab your dumbbells and the weight needs to be doable tough all right she's gonna bear crawl 10 feet across so notice her knees about two to three inches off the ground little bitty steps because the weight is nice and challenging but whenever she gets to that 10 foot marker she's done that's it it's nothing for a player the third movement is just a 100 meter run really simple all right now the way this workout works in this amrap alex is that every time you finish a round you increase by 10 and 100 so now when you do your shoulder taps in the second round we're up to 20. Now when you do your uh, bear crawl, you're up to 20 feet, which means you're going to go down and back. The third movement, 200 meter sprint. 
third round, 30 shoulder taps, three down and backs because that gets you 30 feet, 300 meters, and you just climb as far as you can in this AMRAP. Guys, girls, this is Friday. It's, it's Flex Friday to be exact. Let's get after it. We'll see you there.